So the difference between a mortgage broker and a bank is that we have 20 different lenders to tailor the best product to suit your goals and objectives. As a mortgage broker, we are bound by the best interest duty by law. So that means that we are obliged to act in your best interest. We do the legwork for you to find the best product to save you time and money. So you may be surprised of how little of a deposit you need to get into your first home. We have access to lenders with a 2% deposit and many more with a 5% deposit. If you have no deposit, you may be able to get a guarantor loan, uh, which is assistance from your family. So in basic terms, what stamp duty is, is government tax on the market value of the land or property that you're purchasing. The great thing about stamp duty is that if you were to purchase land for under 300 or an established property for under 430,000, you may be eligible for a stamp duty waiver. Um, let's say you were to build a home for 500,000 and the price of the land was under 300,000, you may be eligible for a stamp duty waiver. But let's say if you were to purchase an established property for the same price at 500,000, you would have to pay up to $13,000 in stamp duty. Also, if you were to build, uh, you may be eligible for the $10,000 first homeowner's grant. So here at Westgate, we understand that most of our clients may have some sort of debt. We will help you to put you in the best position to get into your own home. Uh, my advice would be, if you do have any debts, is to make all your repayments on time, as this will have a positive effect on your borrowing as well as your credit file. If you are thinking of getting into your own home, I would suggest not taking any more debt out and definitely stay away from any payday members. So what I like to tell my clients is five easy steps to get into their first home. The first one would be savings. Find an amount that's suitable for yourself. So when you get paid, you can transfer it into a savings account. Try not to touch this as much as possible. The second one would be to pay your debts and your bills on time. And also try not to take any further debt out if you don't need to. The third one would be account conduct. Banks do look at your account conduct. So if you do have any overdrawns or dis dishonors, uh, this may affect your application. Fourthly, your living expenses. Banks do look at this now. So try to reduce any discretionary spendings that you don't need, such as Uber Eats, gambling, etc. And the last one is to try not to switch employees or jobs. And if you are a casual, try to work as many hours as possible.